Hey guys, Lucky here, back with another Big War recap, and we are in Madhouse this last weekend, and let's take a look at who we were up against. This last war, we were up against the Sugary Almonds, and we unfortunately fell short by two or three stars, depending on uh, how you look at it. Unfortunately, we kind of draw a little bit of a short straw on our end. Um... Because the almonds had about three Town Hall 11s. None of them really had any... Well, okay, only one of them had an Eagle Artillery. But all of them had their Grand Warden. Uh, pretty much a maxed out hero, so... It's a bit of an uphill climb on our part. So I think for what we got out of this war, I think it was a pretty good showing on our part. But anyway, we have a bunch of good attacks to show you guys. And so let's get started. First, let's show up a cleanup attack by Fawns. He cleaned up, he's a Town Hall 10 attacking their number 5, also a Town Hall 10. No one for knows, however. But uh, he does a very interesting, nice attack. I haven't, don't see a lot of these often. So let's take a look. Alright, so let's take a look at his army. He's got two archers, four wall breakers, 14 loons, five wizards, five minions, five valkyries, valkyries and loons, and a hound and gaunt. He's got pretty much almost everything except the kitchen sink. So, well, let's just see how we go here. So he drops a couple of his golems on the 10 o'clock side with a couple of wizards to start creating that funnel nice start so far drops his wall breakers in columns go in drops a jump spell his heroes and valkyries to go into that first two sets of compartments that's been opened up and they're gonna clean that out clan castle gets triggered he's got a dragon a baby dragon and a loon in there and hopefully the archer queen's gonna lock onto them Takes care of the dragon, the baby dragon. That loon is going off to the side, so we'll see how long that one lasts. So they, he is pretty much about a third way into the base. Comes across a Tesla farm. And then he starts doing his air raid attack. He's got two hounds with a, a very targeted uh, uh, balloons right behind them. And they... And his attack deployment is very precise as he starts seeing uh, so those defenses go down on the outside and he's being very patient he sees he's got one more loon a wizard and about five minions for all the cleanup which he has just started so check that out so that town hall is about to go down his BK is down, but his Archer Queen is still up. Both the abilities have been used, obviously. And only got a few defenses left in this whole attack. And he's got plenty of cleanup troops. That did not take very long at all. We'll speed that up there. Very nice job. That was incredible. Very nice job, Fonz. It's a nice uh, three-star on their number five. All right, the next attack we have, I want to show you guys, is Dave the Deadly going against their number seven, Jason CMRN, or Jason Cameron, if I want to add in some vowels in there. Let's see what he does on this base. So he looks like he's got a queen walk into a Govaho. So he starts down at the seven o'clock position. And as you see, he's dropped a wizard and a minion, a minion to help create a funnel. Because I believe he wants his Archer Queen to go counterclockwise to the 6 o'clock position. And then go upwards. And he does a nice job of doing that, creating that funnel. The next portion of his attack is dropping a golem. With only a couple of wizards to help create the other side of that funnel. Drop some wall breakers in. The clan castle has been tripped. Drops a poison spell. The Archer Queen is going to take care of the uh, the dragon and the baby dragon. 
Clank has been taken care of, so we now have the Valkyries and the Barbarian King going in. Jump spell is down to go into the core. And he's got defenses going down. The Barbarian King has gone down. Great. So now he drops ooh, a clan castle full of hogs. And another group of hogs at the 2 o'clock position. And they're all going to meet right in the middle. Now this is very important, guys. When you kind of do like a go Valho type of attack, you want to save your rage spell and your heal spell specifically for your Valkyries and your kill squad as they go into the core. Because then it will make it safe for your hogs to be surgically dropped to take care of those outside defenses because those outside defenses should be focused on the kill squad so he's only got a few defenses left and everything is down all in that one little speech of mine all right so now he's dropped off the rest of his wizards to take care of the rest and that is a nice three star very nice dave very nice Alright, the next attack I want to show you guys is Zadok as he gets a 3 star on their number 9. Let's see what he does here. I think this is one of his close call attacks, but it was a nice little 3 star in the end. So he drops his golem on the 9 o'clock position with 2 wizards to create that funnel. Drops a CC golem and 3 more wizards at the top end of that funnel. Heroes are down. And he's tripped off a Tesla. He drops a Quad Quake to open up a path into the core. Everything is concentrated on those golems, so all the heroes and the wizards are just going to start clearing up some of those defenses. The Valkyries are down. The clan castle has been tripped. A bunch of wizards and looks like a witch has come out. And the Valkyries make short work of them. And they go down without a problem. Giant Bomb gets tripped, Town Hall goes down, the Clan Cow's about to go down, and the Heroes are still doing pretty good at this point. He's still got his Hogs to start dropping. So he's about almost halfway in through the base. Heroes are still going strong, and he starts surgically dropping his Hogs to come clockwise around that base. Drops the Heal spell to make sure those Hogs stay up. And I've seen him do this before. He saved three Valkyries to help with the cleanup process. And I think that's not a bad strategy to do. So hogs are going around. He's got one left, one heal spell left in the bag to keep those hogs up. And he's still got several defenses still up. A couple of Teslas. Oh, there goes three hogs. How many more hogs does he have? So Archer Tower goes down. Tesla goes down. The sweeper is about to go down with those two hogs. They're still working. Oh no, double giant bomb. Oh, and there goes the hog. So he still got a cannon, a Tesla, and an archer tower and an air defense. And a couple of trash pills to take care of. With only three Valkyries and three wizards and a golemite beating out on the wall. Like, that's his mission. And of course, he's got uh, about six or seven Archers that he just dropped to help with the cleanup process. Let's see if he can get it done. So one art, uh, Valkyrie goes down. And the air defense goes down. The Archer Tower goes down. One more swipe and that Valkyrie takes out that cannon. All we got now left is the Dark Barracks. A Tesla and two Builder Huts. I think he can get it done. So they're beating down the walls at two points. Watch the Wizards, the Archers, and that last Valkyrie go in for that Tesla. And she's brushing off those zaps like it's nothing. So now we got those two Builder Huts. And that is a nice little three star. Very nice job. That was one of those close calls. I'll play, I'm going to start playing this from the very beginning just so you see how much time he used. And bam, look at that. 2 minutes and 58 seconds. He had one sec, well, two seconds left in that whole attack. That was a close call, but nice job, Zadok. Very cool. All right, next we have is uh, Where's My Wiener? He's one of our Alliance members over from Shadow Wolfback joining in this big war, and he takes care of number 11 as a cleanup attack. Let's see what he does here. 
So he's got a mass Valk attack going on here. Let's see how he does it. So he uses two minions to take care of a couple of trash buildings. And it starts a super queen. Starts a queen walk actually up at the one o'clock position to, and a wizard to help with that. So if you drop a wizard on the right side of the arch queen, that means you want your arch queen to go counterclockwise around that base. And that's what those minions are also ensuring the other side of that funnel. So if I had to predict, he would have his uh, Max Golem and his Valks go in at the 10 o'clock position as an entry point to the base. So he drops another wizard to help take care of another trash building to speed the Archer Queen along. Oh, and a hound comes out, a Max uh, Lava Hound comes out of the CC, as well as tripped off uh, some skeleton traps. So he drops his, uh, his CC Golem with some wizards and wall breakers to help take care of the rest of those trash buildings and break a portion into the base. Now he just drops all of his Valkyries, drops a jump spell to get into the that one third of that whole base and starts cleaning up house. The town hall goes down, that lava hound just popped, and all those pups are gonna go down while the kill squad does their business. And they just start spreading out, start cutting down walls, drops a raid spell to speed the Valkyries on the way into the last portion of that base. And he's still got one heal spell left in the bag. Where is he gonna drop it? Where is he gonna drop it? He might not need to actually. He's got so many Valkyries that there's nothing left. Might as well use it just to keep him up to help with the rest of the cleanup process. So very nice. So he's got one Archer Tower left. Ooh, and I forgot he's got uh, an Expo to take care of. The Valkyries did a split. And now the Expo is still concentrating on the Archer, ta uh, Archer Queen. The Valkyries are still pretty much safe. And now the rest of the kills is gonna go take care of that expo as the last final percentage. Very nice job. Very nice, all right. All right, the next attack, attack I wanna show you guys is uh, my attack on number 13, which was a, uh, actually it wasn't a cleanup attack, I think it was the first kind of attack. And it was with a new strategy that I'm just now trying out, which is using bowlers in your clan castle so my method was to use a super queen on one side i forget which side to use this on super queen going in on this side to do her walk going counterclockwise around the base while using the bowlers on this side to go uh let's say counterclockwise queen's going clockwise the bowlers are going counterclockwise around this way once they get that going, I just start sending in my Barbarian King, my Valkyries, Wizards, and I have about six hogs for the back side of the base to start cleaning up these edges of those defenses. So let's see how this goes. So I got seven healers, four for the Archer Queen, three for the Bowlers. So drop my Archer Queen. And I try to try to start creating a funnel with the uh, the minion, but that didn't work out so well for me. That was poor planning on my part. Maybe we can take care of that builder hut with one wizard. Archer Queen is continuing her path, and then I drop my CC bowlers with three other healers. And they just start going to work on those trash buildings and some of those defenses. And so far, so good. Everything is going just real nicely. So my Valkyries and my Barbarian King, they just go right into that first. They just cut down that wall. I don't even bother with uh, wall breakers with this kind of attack. Because I know if there's no defenses, it's going to take them down. They'll just carve right through it and just go. So I dropped a heal. Uh, I'm sorry, jump spell. A heal and a rage to keep my kill squad Valkyries, Barbarian King and Wizards up and going to gut the rest of that base as my Archer Queen and Bolas are still well on track to clean up the flanks of that base. So here I start dropping some of my hogs surgically per defense 
to get them down. Now I was trying to take a risk. I wasn't going to use a heal spell on them because I felt I had enough distraction to keep those defenses busy, at least until the rest of my army got around to the backside. And after my hogs go down, I still got one, two, three, four, five. Defense is still up left. And it is just enough with my Archer Queen and my bowlers to take care of the rest of that base. Now, if you guys noticed, I happen to drop two of my archers to help my army clean up the outside. And that was a mistake on my part because I actually could have screwed myself on this. Why? Because, oh no, look at that. Rob was a dummy. But luckily, I had enough time. I was actually panicked at this point, just yelling at my screen. To just tell my army to go. Just go down to the south. Take care of that last builder hut. Come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Come on. Yeah, let's bust through another wall and then I'll, let's not go around the base at all. Let's just bust through three walls just to get to that dang builder hut. But luckily I had just enough seconds just to get that done. All right, so that was a, a lucky three star on my part. Well, yeah, I was lucky on that part. So, uh, very nice job. Well, not bad for a first attempt, at least. Say hi to our madhouse clannies over here. Hey guys, say hi to YouTube. Yeah, really? Anyway, let's go back on to the next attack. I think we want to show... Do, 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 do. Do. Alright, let's watch Avery's attack. And that'll be our last one for this big war. We have so many nice... We, we, we actually did pretty well. We cleaned up on a lot of these bases. And unfortunately, we just didn't have too much luck of putting on the stars on those Town Hall limits. So, it was a little rough. Donate anything. All right, I'll donate minions and the poison. You said anything, and I'd be strong, but that's what I usually uh, raid with these days. All right, anyway, let's go back down. Let's watch that last attack, and then we'll get it going here. All right, so Avery's attack on number 16. Let's see what he does here. He's a native member of Madhouse. So he drops a couple of uh, Valkyries on either side to start creating a funnel. That's a nice, a nice uh, job of creating that funnel and also triggering the clan castle troops. So the Golem is distracting all the, uh, the Archer Queen as well as the CC troops. Barbarian King takes out the Archer Queen. His own Archer Queen takes out all the flying troops and the rest of the CC troops. And he's got still more, a bunch of Valkyries left to drop it. Now he's starting, he's trickling in a few Valkyries to help create that funnel. Now that he's got like a whole bunch going into the core, he's gonna drop them all. And that's a good method to do is test your Valkyries. Drop ones, here they go. If one goes where they, where you want to go, then drop them all. And make sure they go in there. So he drops a heal spell and a jump spell to get into the base of that core. And the Valkyries just make short work of those skull walls. Drops another heal spell. More defenses go down. And they're just getting to town. Starts dropping his archers on the left side. To start with the cleanup process. He's being very meticulous and being very patient. He's got one more heal spell, and he hasn't even tripped off his Archer Queen ability. And he's waiting, he's waiting, still got plenty of time. 
and the rest of the army comes down to the south to help clean up on that portion. Might have dropped the heal spell just a little bit more higher just to make sure more of his army got the full benefit of that. But still, is going to turn out to be a nice little three star. I'll speed this up along. Archer Tower goes down, but just by the Archer Queen. And then the cannon goes down. Boom. Oh, and the Archer Queen just has barely a little bit of health left. And takes care of that last percentage for a nice three star. Very nice job, Avery. Very nice. All right. So that is our attack. We came out, uh, came just short at 110 stars to 112 stars. And I think it was a very good showing as an alliance standpoint. So even though we didn't win, I thought it was a great effort. Everyone had a lot of fun. And the next big war we're going to have is, is going to be an insane wolf pack. I'm not sure if we're going to have it this weekend or next weekend, but we'll have to talk of that. Uh, so stay tuned for that weekend war as well. All right, this is Lucky, and I will check you guys later. Have a good one.